Ireland against Mauricio Lara, second time around. Well, only Lee Wood can take home the World Championship belt this evening after the failing at the weighing of Mauricio Lara, but still so much tension in the air here for this eagerly awaited rematch. Here we go, Mike. Cannot wait for this one. Lee Wood straight to the centre ring, and I was so impressed with his lead hand in that first fight. We've seen straight away him stabbing that jab into the body, walking on to a left. Yeah, just don't wait on him too long. Again, even if you don't commit with the jab, but a sharp one off the glove, a sharp one in the space, he'll respect it. Yeah? Let him make the adjustments. He wants to rush in, you met and they have a good shot. Just decisive with your defensive moves, yeah? If you're going to drop and smuggle, commit to it. Head to the pocket. If you're going to step up, step up. Good. I mean, the blueprint's there from the first fight for Lee Wood, though he couldn't... So, oh, right up we'll go, puts Lara down! That's a great shot there from Lee Wood. Clean up the cut on the chin of Lara. Sitting there just waiting for it. Tremendous. All the talk about the power of Mauricio Lara, and it's the Mexican dumped onto the seat of his trunks with 20 seconds less to go in the second round. Well, if anything, that'll wake up yeah. Lara. That's a great shot, and just a little confidence boost for Lee Wood. He knows it can hurt him. Tremendous from Lee Wood. Oh, that's right. Relax. Fine, mate. It's on him to make the adjustment. It's on him to make the adjustment. It's the left hand from the southpaw stance. Another brilliant right hand from Wood. I'll tell you what, these right hands on the landing, they're having the effect. I don't know if it was a balanced thing there for Lara, but that one seemed to shake him down to his boots. He's definitely hurt to the body in the first fight, Lara, but not to the head, but he had been a couple of times, obviously dropped, and a couple of those right hands seem to have stunned Lara. You've just got to be patient, mate. <laughs> patient and discipline. Honestly, mate, those jabs to the body, they are worth tenfold. Okay? Big exchanges unnecessary. Patience, 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 jab to the body. Just in the patient lows, don't get low to sleep. Okay? He hasn't got 12 rounds in it. On Tony Bellew's scorecard after those four completed rounds, by three rounds to one. And of course, that knockdown in the second round. Good jab from Wood. Back in Lara onto the ropes. He just smiles. Walks onto a jab from Wood. Good boxing, good footwork from Lee Wood. A little bit scrappy from there, Lara, at times. Almost a little bit of a desperate counter. He just sits back on the ropes, takes a couple of shots, and then sort of opens himself up as he comes forward. He thinks, <laughs> Turn your lights off at any moment. Good work to the body from Lara, though, in that exchange. Heading into the territory where the finishing punch landed from Lara first time around. What a confident round for Lee Wood. He's not going to be good enough for Lara. I mean, look, this is, to me, the, the performance of somebody who is concerned about going the distance, is concerned about putting his foot on the gas and emptying the tank. Yeah, potentially, we don't know how he feels in there. For the life of me, I don't know why he wouldn't be letting his shots go. You're the, you're the champion, you're defending your titles. You're getting picked off. Walks in with a left hook there, though. Not the same tempo all the time. Look, I might change it up and the distance of it. Touch, touch, poke. Change the rhythm up with your lead hand. Just waiting, Leeward. Waiting for Lara to mount an attack so he can walk him onto that right hand again. She loses the left hook, but. Missing wildly, Lara. Nada, nada. No, 
pues. No, a ver, ¿quieres? ¿Está bien? Sí, es tuyo ya, ¿eh? Good shot, Ali. What was it? Came right hand. Look at that Lara looks. He looks unsteady on the feet. I was about to say it a minute ago. He looks a bit like he's irky jerky on his feet and he's not quite got his balance. And he's just so easily sort of shook to the floor there. And will they be feeling that in the clinches? I think you probably will because when you get close to your fighter, you can feel how strong they are, what they've got, and when they hold, you know, if they lean on you or if they're kind of wilting away. And I think Lee would have been thinking to himself, you know what? I think I'm in control here and I've got nothing to worry about. Maintain those coach of them probes, yeah? Vital. If you switch it up and land it with right hand, we don't need to then get carried away and look for more. Back to the jab. Back to the jab, back to the stand. Body that faints, he's controlled the distance so well, and that minor adjustment, he's kept that right hand up. And he must know he's not far off, 30 seconds away. He's got that inbuilt body clock as a professional, 30 seconds away from, from retaining or getting back, grabbing back that world title belt that he lost so devastatingly in the first one. This has just been simply a clinical performance on Lee Wood. And there's nothing Laura can do about it. Because Lee Wood's waiting for him for that counter. And the crowd rise to salute this performance from Lee Wood in the closing seconds of the 12th and final round. He came here as the second favourite. Many feared he would face the same ending as last time around.